Good morning, people of God. It is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries, g.w.deliver2020 at gmail.com. I just wanted to come on here real quick um, to shed some light on, you know, worldly things, if I can say that. Um, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you forgive our sins, our shortcomings. God, we thank you for this brand new day of mercy, God. We thank you that your goodness and your mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We thank you for just loving us, God, in spite of our filthy hearts, God. We love you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to come on here and just to... Let me see. Oh, this is a little straight. Beware, right, of those who always use the word judgmental oh you are judging me um one thing that you need to know is demonic spirits through people look at people lives right i mean like youtube videos and their channels and even your life just in general I'm just trying to see how I want to go about so you can understand. Be careful of people who never want to be corrected in their wrong. People are now, well, and have been always running around to us. God know my heart. Oh, God know my heart. The only one that could judge me is God. You know why that bothers me so bad in my spirit when people say that? And it's because they don't even know that God's judgment is serious, that they cannot handle it. So those people that run around, that the demonic forces have them running around saying, oh, you can't judge me. Only God can judge me. They do not know the power of God. They do not want God's judgment to fall upon them. They sound stupid and they have no relationship with God. And they do not read the word of God. If you look in the Bible and read the Bible stories, even in the Old Testament, when God's judgment fell on the people, it was devastating. It was devastating. So people think they are doing something or correcting you, correcting me, correcting the prophets of God, the pastors, by saying, oh, you can't judge me? Only God can judge me? Woe unto you. Woe unto them. Let me say this. One of the trickeries of Satan and this is in the word of God. When you hear the word of truth, when the spirit of truth has spoken into your life, which is the Holy Spirit, it bears witness with your spirit. I always tell people, I am not God. I am just a messenger. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. Always go to the word of God and seek God even in the things that I say. One thing how I know that the spirit of truth lives in me, because when I hear somebody speaking, when I hear a teaching or a preaching, if it bears witness with my spirit of truth, it lets me know. If it is not bearing witness with my spirit of truth, my spirit rejects it. But what the Bible says that Satan does, let me give you scripture. You don't have to take my word. When you hear the spirit of truth and it builds you up, this is 
is what the word of God said that Satan does. The seed that is planted in your spirit, the seed is the word of God. The seed along the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and take the word from your hearts so that you may not believe and be saved. And that's Luke 8, 11 through 12. So when your spirit bears witness, just say, you hear my voice. You hear the voice of the Lord. And you go, oh, Tammy is talking right. My spirit agrees with it. Not as soon as you click off of this video, Satan comes to put doubt in your mind. Satan comes to try to steal the word that fed you. I just read it. Luke 8, 11, and 12. Study your Bible. People that don't want to be corrected when you're talking truth always say you are being judgmental. That is a lie and that is the spirit of offense. Those people that are dealing with spirit of offense will tell you, you can't judge me, only God can judge me. You need to tell them, are you sure you want God to judge you? Only God know my heart. That's another thing they say. And the truth of the matter is, God really do know your heart. He knows the deceit that is in the person's heart that we can't see. Now, this is another scripture. Matthew 13. You can read um, 9 through 16, right? But this is 16. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. And I'm not talking about me, right? Not hear me, but hear the spirit of truth, with, which is the Holy Spirit. Just because a person got eyes don't mean they see the truth. Just because a person hear don't mean they hear the truth. Don't let nobody steal your truth that God has planted in your spirit. You know what you know through the Holy Spirit. It is Satan's job to come and try to snatch it out of your hearts, snatch it out of your spirit, so you do not believe and you doubt. Guys, get in your word. Your word is not going to turn into God void. It was already sent out. It was already established. It's not established because we say it. We say it because it was already established. Guys, this is your girl T. I pray that this helped you this morning. God got some good stuff for you. God has not forgotten about you. God love you. I'm telling you, communicate with him. He got some great stuff for you. Today is a good day to have a great day in Christ Jesus. I love you. Repent, pray, fast, whatever order you feel led to do it in, but do these things. Read your word, get in your word. I'm telling you, the word of God is right and true. Have a great day.